cheerleaders, the dance team. It was a great environment. We obviously played an elite team one day to prepare. Um, you know, played hard. Um, you have to be elite playing that team, the most physical team in the league. And, uh, you know, they were able to, you know, impose their will in the first four minutes, I thought, of the second half on us and get some easy baskets. And, uh, but they're well coached. Obviously, he's a Hall of Fame coach with good players and does a great job. So, you know, get to give them credit. Steve, uh, Tom was just up here saying how much he hates the schedule this week. How much was wear down effect here? Um, you know, I, again, you just have to play at elite level. You know, certainly would have liked a couple of days to prepare. It's tough when you get back at 3 a.m. You know, trip to Miami, but you know, we had chances. And, you know, we played well in spurt. You got to play 40 minutes against a team like that that's ranked and should be in the top five. Um, you know, they got a lot of weapons. They got shooters. They got ball handlers. I thought Winston was unguardable at times. He made some, you know, just tremendous shots. And Langford's a problem and Ward side almost had a whole front court in foul trouble so obviously a really good team and you want to be well rested and well prepared for a game like that and you can't be. Any yeah, more guys with foul things at halftime you mentioned foul trouble just how hard is that to, to manage and yeah I mean that's what they do so I mean word word causes problems. You know I thought our guys did a great job I'm gonna give Caleb our bench came off and gave us great minutes. All the guys were ready to play which is a good sign you know moving forward and, um, you know, the guys that haven't played as much were ready to go in a big, big game. So, you know, it was, uh, it was good to see. Got a lot of contributions, but we don't have a long time to think about this. We have to turn the page. We got a really good, I think, playing as well as anybody in the conference. You know, Wisconsin on the road, tough place to play. So we got them up next. Okay, you said you said two hours kind of getting close what this potential of this team is and also how far it has to go. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're just, you know, it gives you a sign like, you know, that's the, the best team in the league. They'll pick number one. And, uh, you know, but when our place is rocking like the way it was, it gives us a lot of a lot of energy. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of young players. But, you know, I like this team. This team has a good vibe about it. They, they like each other. Uh, you, know, um, you know, I feel really good, you know, about where we are. But we have a long way to go in the best league in the country. And, Seven teams are ranked, and nine get votes. I mean, it's the league we're in now. It's, it's a war. Steve, you mentioned Caleb. Can you just add to what you thought he did in the first half to uh, keep you guys level? Yeah, I thought he was, you know, Gio got some foul trouble, and I thought he was you know, stepped right in and was ready to go. So, uh, you know, proud of him. He's been working hard. You know, sometimes when you're playing behind a really good guard, you don't always get a lot of opportunities, but when you do get them, uh, he took advantage of it today. So, real happy, happy for him. He's a worker. He's going to be a real good player for us. Your offense kind of where you uh, sound frequently with your bigs to, to match their bigs. Is that something we're looking forward to or this season or just for the matchup at it? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I trust all my bigs. I trust all my players on the team. You know, we had a ton of foul problems, and they run the they run the ball to court. It's a tiring kind of game, too. So you know, I trust all those guys. They're all, you know, capable of really helping us, as you saw today. So, um, you know, it depends on the teams. It depends on the matchups, you know, some of the lineups. More questions? Uh, just one more from me. I'm sorry. So, how do you approach the next game? You have the third game in six days now. Wisconsin. What are the keys to? Yeah, I mean, that? we're in. They need a good night's rest, and then you need to get right back to work tomorrow. So we fly out on Sunday. So it's not a lot of time to, you know, uh, not a lot of time to think about this game. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, the players will say it's a good thing. Sure. Draw against the top ranked team in the Big Ten. Is that you hope games of the draft this break and into the Big Ten schedule that you can, you know, get out of the basement and be a Oh, we're not worried about that. We just play every game that's in front of us. We're going to play hard like we did tonight. You know, yeah, we're going to play all the league teams. And, you know, we have to play really well. Uh, we got, you know, some weapons. We got, you know, some, obviously some things we have to continue to get better at. We're only six, seven games into the season. So, uh, you know, it's a young group, but um, I'm excited about, you know, where we are. And, We've got to continue. We got a good game plan here moving forward. We got to continue to get better. We got a good player coming in next year, and, and we're going to keep developing our guys. I think if you see the development of guys, Shaq Dorson today, I think you, you, you can kind of see where, where this thing's headed. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it.